the Content Aware Move Tool. This tool can be found with the other healing tools in the tools bar. Let me show you what it can do. The first option that this tool includes is Move. I'm sure you can guess what this does, but to demonstrate it, let's take a look at this image of kangaroos. The kangaroo at the bottom of this image looks way too lonely over there by himself. Let's move him closer to his friends. Just like the patch tool, I can create a freehand selection around the kangaroo, making sure to outline the whole object. When using the Content Aware Move tool, you want to make sure to leave a little bit of room around the edges of your object to give Photoshop some extra breathing room when it's time to blend your object with its new background. Now, on our options bar, we want to focus on the adaptation options for a moment. These choose very loose for this example. Once your settings are in place, drag the selection to its new location. Photoshop will not only move the kangaroo to its new location, but it will also remove the old one, doing its best to keep the result as natural looking as possible. If you find that the edges didn't blend very well with the background, undo and try a different adaptation setting. The second option is Extend. This can be really useful if you're trying to shrink or extend the length of an object, such as a building or even an animal. In this image of a lion, let's say I wanted to increase the size of this guy. With the Content Aware Move tool, I'm able to draw out a selection around the area I want to extend. Again, when making my selection, I want to make sure to leave a little bit of breathing room around my subject so Photoshop has something to work with when blending. Before I start moving my selection, I'm going to set my adaptation to loose for this example. This should give me a nice blend, especially on the lion's body. Now when I drag my selection, I'm going to do my best to line up the crucial lines of the subject, but we don't have to be 100% accurate. You'll notice that when I release my mouse, Photoshop will process the move and blend the two sections quite well together. We now have a longer lion, but he's way too skinny. Let's fatten him up. With the Content Aware Move tool still active, I'm going to draw a selection around the lion's midsection, including a little bit of his legs. This time for the adaptation, I'm going to set it to Strict. This will ensure that the transition under the lion's midsection remains pretty crisp. Dragging the selection down will add some extra weight to our lion. Pretty neat. Here's what we started with, and here's our end result. And that's the new Content Aware Move tool in Photoshop CS6.